The FDA has authorized a second COVID booster shot for people 50 and older. And as CBS 2's Corey James reports, if you don't have insurance, the vaccine as well as COVID testing could cost you. Everybody was tested at no cost. What was once free is about to cost those who are uninsured. Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine weighing in after the federal government stopped reimbursement funds for people getting COVID-19 tests without insurance. People just choose not to get tested, which is bad for public health. I have two um, not vaccinated under five children. That is something that worries this mom who thinks the federal funding should stay in place. If people aren't able to get tests and everyone's just running around with COVID. In a statement, Quest Diagnostics said, quote, we have begun to notify our clients and partners that we no longer expect to be reimbursed for testing, adding patients enrolled in Medicare, Medicaid, or private health plan are not affected, end quote. And starting next week, there will be no federal reimbursements for vaccinations. A decision made as the FDA authorizes a second booster from Pfizer and Moderna for people 50 and over, while also making it optional for people 12 and older who are immunocompromised. I am very skeptical that giving everybody over the age of 50 a fourth dose will have a real impact in the long term on reducing severe disease, hospitalization, and death. We're seeing more waning of that ability to to stay out of the hospital should you get infected. And for the immunocompromised, clearly there's benefit of a fourth dose. And Levine believes if the federal government does not change policy to make those services free, other agencies may need to step in to help. If it takes the city and state stepping in with that money, as much as that's not what we want to do, it's going to be necessary. And the chief operating officer for LabQ Diagnostics told me vaccination reimbursements end next Tuesday. He says if there is another COVID-19 spike, that funding will be essential. In Midtown, Corey James, CBS 2 News.